Hi everybody, I'm Tom and welcome to A Noob Improves, quite possibly the most optimistically named series on YouTube. Today we are continuing our Dota 2 A to Z challenge and I am playing as Beastmaster. So, um, yeah, apologies if I don't sound exactly like my normal happy chappy self today I am feeling as rough as the arse of a porcupine and I've essentially run out of time to put off recording so yeah okay Beastmaster um, in fact let's fast forward this slightly we're not missing anything till I get into lane Beastmaster has Five skills. Um, these two, Cool of the Wild, and uh, well, they're both called Cool of the Wild. They both level up at the same rate. Um, I'm trying to get an early kill here, and we almost make it, but not quite. That's a uh, that's a shame. But at least we forced him out of lane. So yes, these level up at the same rate. If you put a skill into one, they both get a skill point. And the fast one will give you a hawk, which um, will provide you scouting abilities. You can control it, and um, yeah, it just um, it just basically goes around to wherever you want and provides you a bit of sight in the area. It's very useful if you want to scout ahead and see if there's any um, enemies coming. And the boar is um, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, you control it and it fights for you. It's not very powerful. Uh, so his fast ability is basically you send out axes, they destroy trees, they um, they do damage, and then they come back to you, so you can potentially get a lot of damage if you aim it right. And it's kind of good for crowd control, or creep control, but um, you've got to really aim it in the exact right way. And then we have his passive, which... Um, increases attack speed and then his ultimate which will uh, I've actually forgotten what it was I only played this a few days ago um, okay so it stuns the target and it pushes anyone between you and the target away so you've got a clear path to get to them and anyone in the path like anyone who gets shoved away also gets damaged and um, they've got a movement slow and attack slow so pretty powerful that one very good for um, for initiating fights and I'm still trying to go on that AA but it looks like I'm going to die here uh, no Maybe, maybe not. Uh, looks like we all got away. Uh, the Wind Ranger. Wind Ranger got a kill. Looks like they may pay for it. Yeah, that's a dead hero. I'm now just going back to base to heal. Um, yeah, this is a bit of an odd match, um, there's a lot of activity early on which I don't usually see, and I think I'm trying to use a, um, a tango to get into lane and that's not going to work at all. Yeah, trying to use a tango to get into lane. I meant to click on the TP scroll. There we go. And 
I'm not sure what item I'm going to go for first. Possibly boots, that makes sense, I guess. They spent a lot of time out of lane here ganking the enemy did, and it basically meant that we could pretty much have our pick on the tower. Dyer's top tower is under attack. And uh, what am I doing here? Uh, trying to get a tango. I guess I'll have to wait for the next wave. Uh, okay, looks like I've given up on the tower. Okay, so one useful thing that you can do with the wolf is you can stack camps, and in particular you can stack the ancients. This is a lot easier on the dire side because Dyer's the ancient camp is right about here, right next to the lane. Whereas, if you can see, the ancient camp is only about there on my side, much closer to the middle lane. Which means that as I'm playing off lane top, that's not going to work too well. Well, it, it, it'll work. I can stack them if I can focus enough. Um, basically what you've got to do is attack them around the 53 second mark of uh, any minute and then you've got to just run away until they lose interest and that should stack the camp and mean that you can go and get a lot more gold at once. But it does depend on being able to both fight in lane and um, control the uh, the micromanaged creep, which I'm having kind of some kind of some mana problems here, so I don't really want to look away from lane for too long, and I miss that stack and. Looks like my wolf is dead anyway. They don't last very long, I think about 60 seconds. Uh, yes, the ball lasts for 60 seconds. So, if I had mana here, that would be a definite Dyer's kill, but I don't. And now he's probably going to get a kill. Maybe. No, it looks like I'm safe, but I am out of lane. Uh, yeah, I'm going for... Just checking his items, he's got a ring of Resilius. And I am going for boots fast. I think at this point I'm trying to decide whether I need to sell my last tango and buy a couple of TP scrolls, which would set me back, um, set me back from getting my belt of strength. It looks like I decide not to and just walk it back down to lane. If I was stacking the ancient camp, then I would be able to just pop in there every so often and get a huge amount of gold. I don't know why the A is, A is still in lane. I guess he wanted some uncontested experience, but it just led to a death. And uh, I haven't died yet. I am actually surprised at that. I've had a couple of close calls, but... Yeah, um, I really don't know why the AA just stayed in lane, and I've got my ultimate now. If I remember correctly, I forget I've got it for a while, and I miss out on some kills because I just don't use it. Uh, and my mana pool is still really low, I'm hoping that the next item I buy, or I choose to buy, 
will give me some more mana. I, I seem to remember thinking at this point that I need more mana Radiant's and the next item should give it. Dyer's top tower is under attack. And yeah, back to, um, back to hitting the tower. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Uh, yeah, I popped my clarity. I don't know why I didn't use my clarity before now, but then I do something very stupid and go and attack this tower, which completely cancels out the clarity every time you get hit. And now I'm just in a really bad state. I should have stayed back until the clarity had fully worn off. Uh, I do have my power treads though. Not much else, but I've got my power treads. If I do manage to get that tower, um, if I do manage to get the tower, then I will have a chunk of gold and hopefully I can set up my next item using it. But at the same time, I've got no mana. If I get, if they go and defend it, then okay. Yeah, I got the tower. Um, if they did come to defend it, then I would be in real trouble because I've got no real way of defending myself right now. Uh, looks like their AA is coming back to lane. There we go. Uh, this looks like a bad situation for me. Uh, luckily there's no one else on their team nearby so I may be able to just outrun him. I'm hoping. And I was kind of hoping that there would be a... Oh look now there's a viper, I really don't have any chance of doing this Radiance now. Bottom tower um, is under attack. Radiance structures are fortified. Yeah. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Death's bounty. Yeah, there you go. I was so close to escaping there. But they managed to get him anyway. And our creeps are just uh, just severely pushed the wave at the top tower now so I think it wasn't all that bad I mean we traded me for the AA which okay so the AA is usually a support but um, we did get a tower out of it as well and I got a chunk of gold okay looks like I'm trying to build a blink now um, no. It will give me more mobility, but I it won't give me more mana. It will literally just move me around the map. So uh, looks like we're going to push mid. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Um, or not? Uh, Okay, looks like they were going to push mid, but now they're not. Um, yeah, I don't know. At the moment, I'm trying to decide whether to stay around there and continue pushing or just get back to my lane and get experience. Uh, yeah, trying to get a kill there. See now, now there's two of them. Looks like they are pushing mid now. I don't know what they're doing to be honest. <coughs> has been killed. Um, we've got their courier. I don't know how that happened. Must have been just a lucky shot. And that is Ricky. Uh, looks like I'm gonna need. There we go, dust. Except I can't play it out to me because our curry is in use. Yeah. 
Yeah, at this point I'm kind of getting a bit worried because I know there's a Ricky around here and I can't see him, which means he's probably invisible waiting for a kill. Got a fair chunk of gold at the moment. Uh, I've got about half what I need for my blink dagger. Yep, the rig is behind me. Yeah, I, I accidentally picked up that ironwood branch. I was literally just trying to run. Yeah, but now... Oh, I've got the dust. I don't know if I picked that up in the fountain or if I had it delivered. I wasn't watching that. But I have dust now and that'll make dealing with the Ricky a bit easier. Okay, I'll be up in a minute and I should be able to get in there. If I remember to use my ult, then I should be able to take care of Ricky fairly easily, especially with my dust. There's the ult. Come on. Almost. Go on, just punch him. Punch him, punch him, punch him. Dominating. Double kill. Dyer's main oh. tower is under attack. I think he went invisible again. I did get the dust, I did, did get the ult, but I didn't quite have the punching power. I am getting a lot better with the last hit, so not quite up to um, pro standards of course but I'm getting a lot more than I would usually do part of that is because my um, because of my axe blades and yep yeah, just punch the tower I'm severely out of mana again and I don't have a clarity now if I had if I had mana I could just take care of the enemy creep wave um, yeah that's the hawk I haven't used the hawk much uh, um, I was sending the hawk up the lane to see if I could um, use it as a ward to make sure that I wasn't going to get jumped on by people coming down the lane. But uh, Ricky jumped on me from the other direction. Uh, I haven't used the hawk. I don't think I've used the hawk at all so far, and I've used the boar about once. As I said, they're, they're both kind of weak. The hawk is only useful in specific situations, and the boar, I don't think I've ever had it being useful except for stacking camps. Ah, uh, this is bad. I've got no way of escaping from that. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Okay, looks like the blood seeker came and saved me. Double damage. There we go. That's the kill anyway. And I just can farm up a small amount of gold before heading back. Looks like I'm not doing too bad on levels. Uh, let's see what everyone else has. Uh, not sure what the puck's going for. Snub is just going for all out power. Uh, movement speed. Attack speed. Bottom tower is under attack. And 
man of vegan and lifestyle. Uh, I um I just bought a drum. I decided not to buy the blink at that point and get a drum, which should be a lot more help. Um, looks like there's a fight going on here. Not that I'm part of it. Looks like they can pretty much take care of themselves, of course. I missed the mark. Looks three for two. Not all that good. Bloodseeker did get away though. Uh, what's everyone else going for? Damage. Some basic items there. AA still doesn't have any items. He got um, tranquil boots. Oh, look, um, let's just rewind that slightly. I completely missed that happening up there. Uh, Juggernaut comes and wrecks me. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Hmm. What a waste! I did try and help him. Twice, missed both times. Um, Juggernaut's got a drum as well, and Ruki is going for movement speed. Looks like there's another fight going on here. like we're not quite winning these group fights quite probably because I'm not in them uh, I should be in them really like I could do so much with my stun and my crowd control in a group like that looks like I'm finally joining the party Okay, so the drum will give me My chamber uh, is empty. Oh, you're dead. What a surprise. Uh, I almost had the viper there. Uh, looks like someone's coming to help. Several people are coming to help. Yeah, drum gives um some nice attributes and attack speed and movement speed to the whole team. And when you activate it, it gives even more um, attack speed and movement speed. I'm kind of hanging back. Beastmaster isn't exactly a strong team fight hero. He's got the initiation and he's got some good crowd control, but he he can't really deal a huge amount of damage but basically the way I should be using him in a team fight is jumping in using my ult and then jumping back out and using my axes from a bit of a distance Yeah, I'm getting some more dust, and it looks like I'm going for the blink again. Probably not the best item to get again. Um, I need some way to stop me dying, or um, 
Again, I need mana still. Looks like I'm going to get the aid. Probably not the best one to focus, but I was fairly certain I could get a kill from it. I apparently got a double kill. I'm not sure who else I got. Um, oh, that Wind Ranger is brave, I'll give him that. Going in for a kill. I don't know, we're still not doing good on team fights, and now they've got the advantage in terms of kills. But we. We have the advantage. No, we don't have an advantage in town. No, actually, we do. Yeah, um, we've taken all their T1s, they've only taken one of ours. So we've got the advantage in T1s, and if we learn to group up a bit better, then um, we should be able to get the team fights sorted as well. Change the item I was going to get. I'm pretty sure I'm going for a Vanguard now. And I'm dead again. No, I'm not dead. That was the Bloodseeker who was dead. Um, okay, so we didn't do too badly there. Um, Looks like we got a three for one trade, and we forced a buy back on the Mickey. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower That was possibly a bit silly. Um, Stay near. I. Dyer's bottom tower. Uh, yeah, Mickey went invisible. I dusted him and managed to stun him. And now we're going to chase him down. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. My blades are on cooldown. The blades would Dyer's possibly secure that kill. Fallen. And that's this sniper. I think it's lucky that the sniper did that because he, um, the Ricky was probably going to go away. I couldn't keep up with him, and the puck may have got the kill. Radiant's I guess. But, um, basically, Dyer's courier uh, we've got the killed. Dyer's courier again. Um, top tower is under attack. yeah, the, the sniper actually apologised for that kill, um, after he got it, and it's like, it doesn't bother me, someone had to get the kill. I'd rather, um, get a kill than let them get away, to be honest. I don't think he really, um, he was trying to steal the kill, he just wanted to secure it, which is the right way to go about it. I managed to stun the Juggernaut, which is really good, because that basically meant that his attack was very useless. Um, because he, he essentially relies on the movement speed that gives him and we just held him in place and we could um, do a lot of physical damage to him. Uh, looks like I may be a bit far forward there. Everyone else is backing off. I need to get that stout shield down so I can finish off my item. Or I may just go to base to heal up. Um, yeah, I don't necessarily need to heal, I need mana. 
and okay there's my vanguard I think I'm going to be going for the mechanism next um, yeah the mechanism basically the AA gives a lot of healing and I wanted to kind of counteract that and a lot of the team fights we are losing just because we don't quite have enough health I'm really beginning to hate that juggernaut oh well we got a kill on him the Vicky is holding back See, now that we're teaming up properly, and now that I'm actually um, in team fights helping out, um, it's actually going a lot better for us. I didn't notice the fight going on there. Oh well, the Mickey will appear again at some point. Yeah, so... Um, Basically, the AA gives healing. I wanted our team to have healing, and it gives us a bit more survivability. I mean, we're losing out on kills very slightly. Um, I popped my drum there because if we get faster attack speed, then we can take the tower quicker. And I just pinged to let people know. Uh, yep, the Viper's probably going to get a kill on me now. Uh, yep. Yeah. And there's the Ricky the disappeared. Uh how much gold I'm a lot of gold short. I can almost get my buckler. Mechanism's going to take a while to get though. Bottom tower is under attack. Ooh, there's a lot of people down there and a lot Radiant of us dead. Structures are fortified. Radiance middle tower has fallen. Um, yeah, at the moment I'm trying to decide whether to go to bottom attack. or middle. Um, Radiance structures are fortified. Radiance middle yeah, tower is under attack. Yeah, there's my buckler and my headdress. I don't have time. I don't have room for a TP scroll now, which is very annoying. Um, I do decide to go to bottom because it looked like they was kind of holding it off on middle, but that was the wrong choice, I should have been in that fight and snipe is dead um, I've got no idea what's going on we managed to kill the AA we managed to kill the juggernaut um, and now we're just kind of holding back. Um, yeah, I still don't have all that much mana regen. It's, it's unfortunate. I think I've made the right choice with the drama, I made the right choice with the mech, but I... I'm still finding that mana regen is a bit of an issue. I'm level 17, I did not notice that I was that high level. I'm kind of trying to hide here and hoping I can get my ult off. Uh, Ricky's causing trouble again. Okay, the fight moved on so I've got to kind of... Yeah, there's the Ricky. Hopefully 
they won't cause too much trouble. At this point, uh, I'm dead. Uh, Juggernaut is getting pretty powerful. Go on, Sniper. There we go. Uh, three for three, and we've forced a buyback. Uh, not too bad, I don't think. Okay, four for three. And that's a team wipe. I get some more dust just because I know I'm going to need it. At the moment we're just kind of having to defend. We do have an advantage on... Um, on kills and... I've got an advantage on towers, but only just. Uh, but they do have more people up. It's going to be very hard to defend this tower. We're all coming back at different times. Bottom tower is under attack. It's kind of annoying seeing it from this point of view because now I know where the Ricky is and I can see how close he was and like if we'd seen that Ricky we could have got a kill on it. I've got my ult up so I could have stunned him. I've got dust so I could have seen him. And Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, but See, I use my ult on the Viper. And I did actually use dust on him. That's hopefully going to get us a kill. And as long as A's ult doesn't trigger... There we go. Uh, looks like I'm dead again. Uh, maybe not. Uh, yeah, I backed off a bit because I didn't know what was going on there. I thought I may die. Dyer's um, middle tower is under attack. Did the Ricky seriously Dyer's get boots of travel? That's going to make our life more difficult. Dyer's middle barracks are under attack. I uh, yeah, I died to the Ricky there, but I did manage to get Dyer's the um. Dyer's middle barracks are under attack. I did manage to get Dyer's the dust off, and that helped Sniper get a kill on him. Bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, uh, I didn't even notice that bottom tower until it was almost gone. And Dyer's that's the juggernaut down there. I know attack. for a fact that I can't take the juggernaut on my own. I guess I got the, the recipe from my mechanism attack. and now I'm going for something Dyer's else. Uh, pipes I think I'm going for now. And I'm essentially saying right now that um, basically I can't take the juggernaut on my own, I need some help down there. I should have used the glyph. There's too many enemies here and the juggernaut. Dominated. 
Dyer's top oh. tower is under attack. No. Looks like I just managed to get the Dyer's top tower juggernaut. Dyer's top barracks are under attack. And I think that split push really cost Dyer's them. See, at this point I made the mistake. I cleared away all of the current creeps and then I didn't try and push it down. And I missed the wave of creeps coming in and we lost the tower because of it. But it looks like they've lost top and mid barracks. Um, so it's not terrible. But it's still a tower we didn't need to lose. Okay, there's my mechanism. Um, yeah, pipes I'm going for next. Uh, I, can't, I think I'm just going to push up bottom lane now. Which is a good thing to do because if we manage to get the top tower and top racks then we get mega creeps. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm just buying as many of those items as I can. what I'm doing. Now that's funny, I told the courier to deliver the items and it didn't. And now I'm telling it to deliver them again. I could I should probably walk up the lane to go and meet the courier. Um, at the moment we're trying to split push. Basically um, someone said that we needed to get a couple of people to defend the lane and a couple of people to push the bottom. And. I'm guessing it's going to work out fairly well. I mean, we've got the tower there already and we'll get the barracks quickly enough. And hopefully we'll force them out of their attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Dyer's ancient is under attack. The Wind Ranger returns. Um, I have finished the pipes now, but the courier never came to me. Or the courier possibly came to me and couldn't deliver most of the items. That's more likely. Um, so yeah, I I managed to finish the pipes, I didn't manage to get it out to me. That was poor management on my part. And that's the Beastmaster win. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching if you got to this point in the video. Uh, all suggestions are very welcome. And please leave a like if you liked the video because it just helps so much getting my channel seen and uh, subscribe if you want to see Titanfall on Wednesdays and Dota on Saturdays and until next time don't feed the trolls <laughs>